Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you Wednesday here, um, 19th of August. Getting into the meat of the end of this month. Get the S&P chart up here. Uh, new new all-time highs in the cash yesterday. But on 20th of February last year, the high was 97 and a half. I haven't quite touched that yet. 93 and three quarters so far. We'll see. The energy, the topside energy is, is uh, very low. I've got to say, very, very low up here. So I don't know what that means. Um, but very lethargic. We'll see if we can if we can crawl up to uh, 97 and a half. First time up there, I think it's a sell. Um, We'll see. We'll see. Currencies moved yesterday, finally, after a real boring European session. Um, we got that pop in the euro up through 16, all the way to 66. Uh, now we've done, done some sideways action here. Looks like she wants to just take a little bit of a peek below this 18 low. This is the post fix low, 18. Um, probably some stops down here, right, between 18 and the figure. Every CTA in the world bought through the year's highs, including us. Um, we just treated it as more of a tactical, <coughs> tactical trade. So we're trading on the long side here. Um, do not have a full position size on. We're just trading it because um, we're a little bit suspect of this, uh, and it's just instinctual, which is usually not not great, not a great indicator when you're trying to trying to call a trend turn instinct is usually not the way instinct is great for tactical trades um, so I gotta be careful with this uh, but today we're looking for maybe a move down to 119 uh, then we'll add some more longs we'll have a decent average and we'll have to see we'll really have to see 11880 is our line in the sand here we get below 118.80, there's a problem. So this is what we're watching in Euro cable. Uh, we feel a little bit more stronger about 131.85 is the line in the sand in cable. We want to be long cable. Uh, nobody has this cable trade, whereas everyone has the Euro trade. Nobody has this cable trade, so it looks and feels um, better, shall we say. It's a long cable uh, we like. Dollar Swiss, we talked about it yesterday. We expected um, Swiss clients to be on the bid at 90 cents. They, they were, they are. So this is just holding up the move here. If you trade Dollar Swiss, I, would, I guess ask why. Because um, it's a shitty little pair. Um, but uh, just keep in mind, there's going to be bids down here at 90. There will be stops back through 90.50, which was that key year low. Uh, looks like we're going to attack those stops. So, I mean, this is the same trade as the euro, except for it just makes a little bit, the price action is a little bit more fluky. Um, that's the best way to describe dollar Swiss. It's a bit fluky. Um, dollar yen. Didn't really like it down there. It took a little visit to 105.10. Now we're back at 105.60. I don't really understand this, but if Euro is going to continue higher and, and Dollar Swiss is going to continue lower and the whole dollar sell-off is going to happen, Dollar Yen must participate. It is not participating right now, so let's just take note of that. Uh, I don't know what to do with Dollar Yen. I don't, I don't feel like selling it, so... Who knows? Does that mean cross is going to go higher? Hmm, maybe. In the middle of nowhere, so nobody really cares. The sterling uh, yen chart looks like a trap up here, up through 140. Be super careful. We got very strong resistance at 141. Um, don't know. We talked about nibbling on the longs yesterday, dollars are. Um, we're talking just really, really nibbles, um, you know, 
like those goldfish cracker size bites. We will be fading this uh, into one into 17. The figure uh, we don't like the outlook um, for South Africa. As most of you know, I never really liked the outlook economically for South Africa. Um, the people almost unanimously amazing. Uh, so they got that going for them. Like You never meet a douchebag from South Africa. Uh, at least I don't seem to ever meet one. Uh, so they got that going for themselves, but economically, um, they're going to get bitch slapped, I think, into this fall. So this is kind of our forward-looking view on, on what we're going to do with dollars R. So we want to try and own some dollars R into 17, the figure. This is a percent and a half, almost a 2% band here. So keep it light. Keep it light, Johnny. Keep it light. Aussie did not really want to remain above these highs. This is also slightly concerning if you're a dollar bear. Um, Aussie should have shot up to 73 cents. You know, equities are making a new high. The dollar's being sold everywhere. Uh, but Aussie has some sort of muted gimp move. Um, and when Aussie's being a gimp, I don't know. Again, these are like small warning signs here about dollar bearishness. Dollar yen's a warning sign. Aussie's a warning sign. And then, of course, gold um, also warning. We actually had an offer at uh, 2025. I just realized yesterday the high was 2024.80. I wasn't watching that closely enough. But up there, the move from 2025 um, dropped 40 bucks pretty quickly um, that just emblematic of weak hands right weak hands own gold up here they're all little Buffett followers what they don't understand is Buffett owns shit for years these day traders are pretending to be Buffett for nine minutes um, and get smushed I think there's going to be a little bit more of that, these weak hands on gold. But what does this mean for the bigger picture? If gold uh, plunges left, it's not really great for our dollar weakness trade. So we're not trading gold as much. We missed our sell point up there at 2025. We will not resell if it gets back up there now. Um, but we're just using it as uh, directional on how we're going to trade our cable. And how much euro dollar we're gonna own so but it's it's a worry right you want strong hands up here you don't want weak hands if you think if you look at it the first time it went up through 2000 this was strong hands this move here from 2010 to 2049 strong hands goes all the way up to 2080 these same hands are down here buying it again these guys are comfortable they did not puke on this. They probably bought more. Um, Where this feels like very weak hands up here. Anyway, strong hands, weak hands. Blah, blah, blah. Um, what else? Let's look at ZB. It's a pain in my ass today. We're selling um, 179.15s today. This like little grind up. It's chewing away at our P&L. Uh, which is annoying, but we're going to stick with this. We do believe in this uh, short ZB, even though the price is not really collaborating on this little grindy move up. Bitcoin, I uh, hope you had your bids in. 11.680, the low. Uh, you want to just try and collect this, you know, on the 11 handle, then try and collect some on the 10 handle. Um, our next purchases isn't until Monday. Uh, we're sort of dollar cost averaging on this. Um, but we like Bitcoin longs, but nice little nice little washout here. Uh, and this is quite normal within the Bitcoin realm of Bitcoin. We still think this is going to be 20,000 this fall. Finally, uh, BTPs. 
not doing much. We're short right here. We're short because we think there might be inflation. We're short because we think we're short BTPs, especially because we think this also plays into if this does go risk off, uh, BTPs will follow. Uh, and we're just short just on the on the eyeball test, right? Italian rates under a percent. Italian 10-year rates under a percent. Uh, this doesn't make any sense to us. So there we are. There we have it. No real big entry focuses today. We're just going to trade around long cable, um, which is our main our main theme. We've got some of these medium term positions on and fixed income we're watching. And we will be watching um, how ES trades up at 33.97. Said enough now. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.